it's a funny story. Uh, I, uh, I got called up uh, by a friend of mine to the front controllers panel and uh, had to play a little Gradius V. And I like Gradius V. It's, uh, it's been a little bit, though. This is... Um, I think Treasure actually made this Gradius, truthfully. 15 credits, I don't know what that means. Or, I had 16 before, but whatever. Okay, so... I have not played this game in a very, very long time. But... Ooh, eh, let's stick with the, let's stick with the basics. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, it's been a bit, so hopefully... Um, this goes well. Proton John asked me on uh, Twitter if I'd ever once he seed this game, and my response is I don't remember actually. Uh, I don't think I did, so maybe we can amend that. Uh, you can't control your. Sp oh gosh! Wow! I if that were well, that could have gone very badly. I guess <laughs> um, is what I'm getting at here. Right, let's leave this up. Wow! Yeah, I am rusty. It has been a long, long time since I played Gradius. Actually, any Gradius, when I think about it. Um, but Gradius V has a cool little oh dear, system in it. For one thing, your hitbox is very small, like a bullet hell. And the game is probably the most intense of the Gradiuses, at least that I can think of. But one cool thing is... Uh, how does this work? Oh yeah, if you hold R1 now with, and you have the direction equipped, you actually have a cool thing where you can direct your options, called multiples in this game, for some, that's for some reason, although I guess it's not that options made any sense. And look at that! You just get to wave away enemies and such. It's a really helpful kind of configuration. Um, I've seen, back in the day, expert players actually would use things like the freeze configuration, which would lock options in place. Make sure my microphone is pointing at me. Um, would actually, like, lock options in place and such, you know? And a lot of the people use the fire blaster and stuff. I always like the laser, though. It's just my thing. Um, you can get up to four options in this game, like a standard one. Hey, Arsenics. Uh, let's see. Yeah, good stuff. I guess we're above the planet. And if I remember the story, actually, Gradius is the planet you're trying to defend with the Vic Viper. Bacterion is the bad guy and such. Um, Etc. Uh, it's funny because playing... Bullet Hells has really kind of gotten me used to getting, like, really up oh dear, in, like, uh, enemies' faces and shit, you know? Because bullet, bullet Hells really reward that kind of, like, recklessness and abandon, as it were. And standard shoot 'em ups like Gradius, you know, there's kind of no real penalty, I guess, unless it's specifically designed such for, like, staying at a distance, which would kind of make sense, right? Because shooting at you and all that stuff. Arsenic says, press start button. Hey, how's it going? It's going all right. I've been playing a lot of crappy games lately, so, you know, it's nice to play some good ones like this and plug one. Considering a third speed up, believe it or not. I know I shouldn't. I never did with the old Gradiuses, but two feels a little sluggish. It's the usual one I get. I don't know. Gosh, so weird to come back to shoot them ups nowadays. Let's get a shield, why not? Probably better to get the third option, but whatever. And we have boss one. Um, actually, the Proton John really does like Gradius V because um, this was another challenge someone did in Throne Controllers, which was, I think, uh, what was it, just survive? No, you had to beat this first boss, and the player didn't pick a configuration that let him shoot behind him, which sucks because as you'll we'll see in a minute. He doesn't always stay on the right side here. And it's right about... Now that that changed? Yep, there we go. Wondering for a sec. Oh dear. Uh, gotta work on dodging, so I gotta just... I can't worry about shooting him right now. I think he's going to end up behind me, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, you can destroy the stuff around here. Is this easy difficulty or something? Or I just pressed start. I, I really have no idea what it was set on. But that looks like about it. Yep, and that's boss one. Uh, 
Smuck Fuzzer, what system is on? This is a PlayStation 2 game. However, it was printed on PlayStation 2 CD-ROM. So this, and Contra Shattered Soldier, um, PlayStation 2 Read Laser wasn't really set in the right place and couldn't read the disc. You'd have to, like, open it up and, like, uh, screw around with it. Smash Daisaku is saying, no type 1, tisk tisk. Is that, like, a... I don't know. It's been forever since I played this. I kind of forget. I just went with custom edit, honestly. I just wanted this kind of directional laser. Maybe this is, maybe it's easy mode. I don't know. I don't, I'm sorry if it is. We'll, we'll play it again sometime, maybe, if, with the infinite amount of time that I seem to have nowadays. Okay. So what should we keep in check? I guess we'll store a uh, shield, maybe. We'll store it in the shield slot in case. And look at this! The first Gradius with cutscenes. Uh... Hello, Els Epsilon. Alright, and welcome to stage two proper, um, aka the final stage. Actually, you might remember these little appearing torpedo things from the first Gradius game. They were kind of like the second boss. Gradius won for the NES anyway, uh, did weird things with the boss. You'd always have to fight the core, but right before it, there'd be some like stage-specific challenge, like volcanoes and stuff, or in the case of stage two, those little torpedo things would just appear, you know, anywhere out of the screen. Um, Gradius also has these light gray, dark gray rotating bullets, which, uh, after playing this up on throne controllers, I kind of forgot how they tend to blend in compared to other shoot 'em ups but, yeah, I guess we'll leave it on shield in case something happens. I feel like I could use a third speed up, though. I don't know. I guess we might as well try it, right? Nothing ventured. No, I still got four lives in reserve. There we go. Three speed ups. That's... God, that's wild for my old Gradius days. I don't know, guys. Um, yeah. Whoa. Um, I, I do like the addition of the directional. It, it is making it a little easy. Um, okay, so the other Vic Viper is here, and he's doing his own thing. I couldn't really tell you what that is. Taking a little bit of slowdown here, so apologize for that. But that isn't the stream. That is the game, unfortunately. Fucking console! Um, oh dear, forgot about that part. Yeah, Gradius has you do some tricky stage maneuvering kind of stuff, but it's fun that way. Um, although, again, this is really treasure, not Konami, if I'm correct. Anyway. So, we say goodbye to our friend, the mysterious other Vic Viper. One, I wonder what that's about. Uh... Also, by the way, this is specifically a, v a Vic Viper T301, if you were all wondering. And I know and I know you were. And if you notice the background here, and actually the enemies too, things are getting a little more organic. Wow. God, that's a tight <laughs> configuration. Hey, 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 hey. Aw, what? All right. That was kind of weak, grady. Yes. All right. So uh, the other issue... I mean, the one thing that Gradius 5 does very right is you're not totally screwed if you die, because now you can pick up your options again, you know? Which is good. Oh, dear. Shoot behind me. Actually, let me just... Okay, yeah. Without laser, I can see how multiple's a little tricky, because it takes a while to track to other directions. Let's see here. What did somebody say? There's an Einhander boss? I'm Einhander's another one I haven't played in forever. I should see... I still have that lying around somewhere. Okay. So, and then we look up top, and hey, it looks like our uh, friend is kind of facing similar dilemmas than we were. Hey, forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Um, he's not doing good either. He only has one option, so I don't know. Done. 
So we're just going to ignore the giant brain that we're flying around, I guess. Um, at this point, I'd like to introduce, I don't know if you remember the game Life Force, but one of the bosses in here was named uh, Hi, Rogue Infinity, uh, Tetoran, which is kind of Japanified Tetron. And what you're about to hear is a remix of the Life Force boss music, which is kind of cool as we do our first boss rush. Try to get back so get back my laser stuff. Ooh, okay, so. Oh dear. Alright. You may recognize this dude from I think it's Gradius 3 he appears in during uh, the Gradius 3 boss rush. I think these things do have names. But they're like Something like, you know, Destroyer Core, Mark III, and things like that, so I don't really remember. This guy's pretty standard fare. I don't think he's even, with the exception of these little twin lasers, I don't even think he's that much different from his Gradius III incarnation. Nothing, nothing tricky here. But, you know, like I said, it is a boss rush. Uh, is Life Force the game, same game as Salamander? You know, I don't know, now that you mention it. Um, this, though, is Tetron, who is from Life Force. Um, is it the same as Salamander? I'm really not sure. Uh, but Tetron has a, has a really different kind of thing going on. I'm destroying the core. Uh, weird announcer guy. So, as you can see, Tetron forces you to rotate around him before he changes configurations into this shape, which I just took a hit. Thank you, shield. Oh yeah, force field does not protect you, by the way, from environmental hazards, if you noticed earlier when that brain thing just collided straight up into me. Now Tetron comes to a completely new attack pattern, which I like a lot. You may have seen this. This is, uh, although I guess it technically came out, this game came out first, but this is very similar to Maelstrom from Crimson Clover. Obviously, much, much less intense, I guess, maybe, is that the word? Uh, so we're not doing too bad with him. Let me just see if I can get him done quick. There we go. That's Tetron down. Uh, Jamers, that's right. Uh, yeah, Salamander, Salamander is life force. Oh dear. This guy, uh, another Gradius three um, dude, if I remember. And he has that's his attack from. I should say Super Gradius three really is the one I'm more familiar with. Then there's this. This is new. The music change actually. It just sounds more. Whoa, shit. Good thing I had that ready. Okay, so he has two cores. No big deal there, right? I'm always worried that he like stays open a little longer than usual. There's a Hydra boss that's kind of like this too, actually. I mean, which is not. Oh, that's surprising. Forgot about that part. Yep. But the good news is if you keep your uh, options there, you get some free hits like in because. You can actually do smart things with the options in this, like get them to a point where, I guess that's what's good for freeze, is you can put them like really up close to the cores, you know, and just like dodge their little like shields and, or get in front of those little shields and, or well, front. Let's see here. And I uh, should take care of all his shields. I just need to take care of the cores themselves now. No big deal here. Yeah, man. When I, when I, this is funny, though. Like, bullet hells really help you cut your teeth on stuff like this. Because now... Oh, this part's cool. Yeah, I like this. I, I said that, and then, of course, I take a hit. But whatever. We still got some sh plenty of shield. All right. So now he's going a little... He's got... Well, he's got... He's going for broke. He's got less to lose now. I think he knows the way this tide is sailing. Sailing? Whatever. Shifting. You know, the shit. I could have gotten him there. I remember that attack being a little more intense for some reason. Oh, that's why. Yeah, he opens it. But whatever. He's gone. Jamer says, uh, Gradius 5 is a good game, but holy crap, is it long. It, it is, yes. Is that the boss music? Yes, this is the boss music. So this, I believe, is a boss original to Gradius 5, and it's the proper stage 2 boss. 
and he's got a cool little uh i really i really like this attack pattern a lot i think this is really creative as hell um yeah in my younger days too i'd never think to i would never dare get this close to him but you can see from that bubble size to the side what do i do here i think i can just stay there okay that's interesting i forgot totally about that part of it but whatever yikes all right so I just kill this top one. if i remember the top ones are actually tougher to kill than the side ones okay yeah that's oh gosh all right uh oh yeah two-step lasers how about that all right um i've been calling these two-step lasers they're like lasers that kind of shoot out a little bit collect themselves into an orb and then like kind of shoot out again yeah totally forgot about that okay so yikes and i'm still forgetting about them they have cool sound effects though we'll give them that yikes. okay one core out of four down but i the middle ones are the easy ones to get i really want to these ones I gotta, I gotta watch him too for I don't know if he's gonna do two steps in the middle of this. I don't think so. Three down, so let's get the last shit. I forgot that at this part. I don't really understand the timing quite yet. Ah, that thing's gonna retract back, so yeah, okay. And, ah, uh, good, all right, there we go. Boss two down. Arsenics, I totally don't expect a boss rush just on the second stage. This is very true, actually. Um, Gradius V actually has multiple boss rushes. Good stuff. Sing Long says, I suddenly have an urge to play Hardcore Uprising for some reason. I've never played that. All right, let's get back to where we were. So that means second speed up. Really feeling a third lately. I don't know. Um, I like, I like, I think laser is more important than missile right now. I'll leave it to Jamers or Smash to tell, to tell everybody whether or not, uh, directional, uh, direction plus laser is like easy mode or something. Maybe it is. If it is, then maybe we'll do that. And these are little mini cores. How about that? Oh dear. It's funny because, yeah, when I was, when I used to play this, I used to think this was so intense and stuff. And it still is, it's pretty good, honestly, for, like, a shoot-em-up. It's a nice, it's a nice hybrid of a shoot-em-up and a bullet hell, you know? Like, there's the environmental hazards, but, it, like, it manages to keep things intense. Goddamn treasure was good. Um, I think I want to save up for that shield now, because the stage started proper. Ooh, hey, missiles, I didn't even notice. Or lasers, rather. Let's see. I would normally uh, maybe consider something like, hey, who needs shields, you know, but I'm, it has been a good long time since I've played this game. So I really don't remember, I remember some of the stuff, but like even before when I was doing my recording test, I was like, I'll do the asteroid boss, that's boss five, four, right? And it wasn't, so. Okay. Um, this is one of those challenging things where you say, is it worth it to shoot everything? Like, I'm wondering if destroying that those upper walls exposed me to more shots than I needed, more bullets than needed to be. Watch out behind you. That's the one tricky thing, too, about Gradius, is watch out behind you, which I've already forgotten in stage one. Should have learned it from Cetasius. Honestly, hey, now. Okay, that's... I wonder how you do this part without options or anything. Use or that direction for that matter. Alright, uh, cool. And then we have some guys in the background that I knew, yep, that were gonna come foreground. Don't know if you have to get them in their little mouth kind of deals. That makes sense, right? And we got the little. Oh. Okay, this part, yeah, so these guys are gonna loop around in some, like, uh, yeah, kind of try to kill you sort of configuration. These bullet guys up top are not making this easy on me. But that didn't go so bad, so. Now, if I remember, there is, like, a spider walker boss kind of guy coming when you descend downward. And it's a very creative boss, if I'm remembering his gimmick correctly. 
Should I go that third speed up? Yeah, you only live once. Yeah, actually, I haven't... I don't think I've been killed by, like, accidentally running into a wall or anything just yet, so... Just yet being the operative term, mind. Okay, cool. I think you... You know, I wonder if you get less points if you kill these little enemy spawners before they actually spawn too many enemies. I'm sure there's probably strategies, all strategies and stuff worked out for this. Lines, as the experts call it. Hey. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, yeah, that's getting a little intense there. A little bit, though. All right. Whew. Still not too bad. Cool. Um, ah, shit, this part. That's right. So this guy's going to be chasing me through these hallways. And he's got some friends. As you can see. I'm not 100% on how to deal with this. I think maybe you can squeeze by him. Is that the trick? That's the true dash. That's the trick, yeah. I almost forgot about this part. Shit. Okay. Wish I could have destroyed at least one of these dudes, but... Okay. Oh, hey, all right, <laughs> cool. Not not even, not on purpose. I, I wish I could claim credit for that. Maybe I will. That was totally, I, I rock. All right, over here. Come on, option. Oh, almost. Oh, hey, I, I, should, I need another shield already. Okay. One, just need one, two more, actually, so. I swear there was that spider walker boss thing when you uh, kind of go down. My gosh. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's enough for shields. Just gotta get it. Don't get greedy though. Got it. Okay. Cool. So we'll do. We we'll get down here. Put shit up also. Maybe we'll get some good points out of it. Okay. Not doing. Not doing so bad, I guess. Right. Three lives in reserve. Um, sorry for uh, that's a lot of lives in reserve. Truthfully, I have uh, not played this in years and years. So whatever options I had selected on my old save file from years back is what I went with. I just kind of clicked new game and went for it. Oh, this is cool actually. You can use your missiles there to hit, the, hit them in their sideways. Eh, I suck. I should really go for more points, but I again just been so so long yikes forgot totally about that all right what do we got here yeah so arsenic meant mentions um i've been i've been, I've been looking at uh, um his chat oh yeah hey tie tuesday um no arsenic mentioned this too so yeah gradius games had a problem where is if you died you lost everything and it was really hard to like kind of get back to where you were power up wise and this kind of came to a head in gradius 3 arcade because the bubble stage there were these big bubbles you had to shoot a lot and the trick to them was um what was it oh yeah so they would multiply as you shoot them and stuff but if you died mid stage it was like almost impossible to get your power ups back and survive it so this that's is this is the, this is the boss i was thinking of that's his gimmick is that we got to use the platforms to cover as they get destroyed by him and fall down on, on top of us so that's no good yikes, yikes, yikes. oh shit yep glad i had that shield in reserve Okay, <laughs> I forgot a lot. I forgot the general strategy for this guy. Oh gosh, uh, shit. Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, oh no, crap. No shield. Okay, who needs it though with him? Well, actually, I do because there's dudes below me too. Ah. Oh fuck. I gotta be careful. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the time I ran into somebody. All right, yeah. So anyway, Gradius Five solved that problem I was talking about by at least letting you get your options back, which is actually a pretty good deal. Okay, so let's get around him. Shit. Okay. Gonna have to go above him now, I think. Right? Yep. 
Okay. Actually, this looks a lot like, um... What? Wow. Suck. Alright, so now they're kind of through with baby mode, I guess. Okay. God damn it, how many times do I gotta hit this dude? Uh, leg? Leg? Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm in, I'm in a bit of trouble now. Fuck. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah. Try again. Ah. Well, no one's CC. Uh. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, that so this guy is my first big roadblock, I see. Um what happened there? Yeah, I guess I was well I was hoping he'd move in time, which didn't happen. Alright, so let's go oh dear. Alright, so for now let's just try to survive, I guess. And not even worry about him. Uh yeah, this This guy's kind of a pain. Oh dear. Huh. How am I gonna get around this? Somebody says I'm not, I don't see how I'm supposed to hurt the boss here. Yeah, because I could get to the side of him, right? If I get squeezing the legs, but then I can't really do anything about the laser. Wow. Like here, yeah, right? I could do this, but unless there's like a tiny bit of room. Oh, wait, maybe that is the trick, right? I'll die already, you jerk. You, made, you already embarrassed me on my own stream. Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, um... It is a capture card thing. Uh, I am a couple seconds ahead on commentary. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a. I'm playing on my TV, but the capture card takes like two seconds or so to actually render. You can do a thing on Elgato where um, you delay your commentary by some time to match it. I think I just got one too many speed em ups or shoot em up speed ups, but whatever. All right, so this is ooh, stage four, which is the requisite organic stage. Huh, you know, maybe Gull Shell wasn't so uh, original after all. Why did I get double? Especially, why did I get double when I had the stupid freeway version of it? God damn. Alright, this sucks. So. So anyway, uh, yeah, I guess this is sort of the, um, this, the kind of like call out to life force stage. I guess come to think of it, you know, I never really saw the connection between like Gall Shell and life force. What? God damn, I suck. I need my options back. And I really need some speed ups, jeez. Alright. So my big alright, so big stop gaps have been stage three boss, right? Okay. Uh Yeah, this is totally life force. I remember those. God or excuse me, Salamander. Um Oh yeah. I so stage, yeah, stage three is about where they, I guess, they stop saying, okay, you're a, you're a gradient big boy now. You can, you can dance with the adults. You can sit with the adults. The adult table. I'll get that metaphor soon. Oh, yeah, this part. So this is tricky. Oh, uh, shit. All right, so... Ah, why am I so terrible now? Uh, arsenics I bought. Why do I- every time I look at chat, it's always- that's the one that stands out. Let me try to respond to other people in a minute. Let me just, uh... Let me just get through. Yeah, wow. I suck. You need some practice. <laughs> Fuck you, I need some practice. I mean, he's right, but... Maybe I need a better loadout in case I die. Marathon strats, as it were. 
All right. Got to remember these green killable revenge bullets. I'm never going to survive loop 10 like this. Jeez. Whoa. I forgot about that part. I mean, there's going to be another stretchy guy thing like right around. Yep. All right. I need options. That's my trick. Or that's the that's the problem I'm having because I need to be able to shoot in multi directions again. The trade off, by the way, I don't know if I explained this, is you hold R1 um, to change the direction of the multiple, but um, then you can't shoot. Or excuse me, then you can't move while you're aiming. Just you know, a bit of a problem in a, in a game where you have to dodge bullets. Oh, hey now, hey now. Uh. Keep forgetting you're all second behind, so I'm gonna have. To, uh, sorry, one sec. Um, this part's tricky to deal with. All right. Okay. Um, okay. All right. I'm just gonna use missiles here and hope the spread saves me, which it didn't. What the hell? I'm gonna admit I'm not a hundred. I'm not really recalling what one must do to survive this normally. Wow. Alright, I gotta get back to... Oh, yeah, these things. Good old regenerating cell blocks. They never look right without sprites. Um, I'm saying that like you see them all the time. God damn, I suck so bad now. Now I'm just, like, grinding through it. This blows... Oh, yeah, this part. This stage is a pain in the ass, though. It reminds me of a bit of Path of Scylla for some reason. Oh, because the shifting, the big shifting levels. Uh, well, <sighs> all right, G5, you're killing me. All right, let's just stay on the right side of the screen and hope for the best. How's that sound? hate these little volcano things. Ooh, hey, um, what? Uh. We're just getting started. <sighs> Please continue. Nine. Eight. <sighs> Anything better? Let me get spread gun. Sounds good, yeah. Let me get a different double. Maybe then at least double can get useful and I can use it to... I really gotta start building back up is the trick. To be totally honest, though, I don't know. Like, even if I had done well on Spider Boss, this would have kicked, kicked the crap out of me. Yeah, we'll just squeeze through here. Uh-oh. I... Yeah, I can't get back. That's my problem. Like, to where I was. So, I need five more. I don't think I can get down there. I don't even know if I want to. I don't know if I can take on all those things with just the stupid regular gun. Oh, dear. Yeah, so that happens. I really don't know what you're supposed to do about that, though, if you only have the regular gun. Ah, shit. Well... God damn, I am getting my ass beat. I will not lie to you. This is not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what you're supposed to do about that. Well, I guess I guess you could time how you're shooting through it. Can I please have an option, guys? Is that possible? One, two, three, four. Good. Okay. Destroy the cell. So, stage four boss is kind of neat stuff for three days, you can say. I like these tower configurations. Say I like them, but watch me get killed by them. Wow. Okay, and that's very confusing to know when it's active and when it isn't. Does it turn red when it's active, or is that just they just turn red? Okay, I forget what he does next, which is... Oh, here we go. It's, okay, this part. Yeah, I remember this. The curve thing is... This is interesting. Oh, you have to... I see. Oh. All right, well, whatever. Like, at least I have my... At least I have an option back, so... I can start 
bank building out. Good thing I earned a lot of credits the years and years when I played this. Alright. We got an option, so at least we're not doing terrible. What is this attack? Oh! Uh, I don't remember what to do here. This is probably not the right way to handle this. Uh, thank you, small hitboxes on that one. So what is that thing, the snake towards you? What? God damn, I don't remember any of these attacks. Eh. Alright, that one's not so bad. So, what's next? Horns again? Towers? Towers. Okay, towers I can deal with. Famous last words. Hmm. I'm wondering what spider boss if it's worth it to just like get the the hell out of dodge there. Okay. Okay. So everything above stage two is what I need to practice. Got it. Okay, this part's not so bad, right? I think I said that, but I think it killed me earlier, so. Alright, maybe you have to have four of them. More? Okay, then what was next? Uh, oh, this shit. Oh, come on. I wasn't near it. Jerk. Okay, this thing... Okay, good. Yeah, wow, I suck at Gradius 5 is the takeaway today. Oh, down that phone. All right, speed up twice. Oh, this is the asteroid stage. All right. Good God. All right, what am I going to need for this? Um, more, you know, let's go with the laser. Get back to cheesing our way through things. All right. Yeah, I'm glad I did that actually. Yeah. So, really, uh, no miss run of Gradius is probably technically—I mean, technically not easier than a one CC, but it probably would help out a lot to just keep that default configuration throughout the whole game, if possible. Let's see here. So. No, oh, come on, man. I'm just going to complain now. This is going to be a very whiny stream. All right, yeah, this part. Um, it's pretty bright on my TV. Uh, okay, so... What are we doing here? So I really like the asteroid level. It's very, very creative as far as asteroid levels go. A little mining colony here. Bacterion, I guess, getting into that. I don't even know why he needs... I don't know why he does the things he does. Yeah, and actually, I don't... Couldn't think of it, I don't even really know how the bio biological level worked into anything. It was just sort of, well, while, while we're here, you know. That was just kind of the neat thing about these old school shoot 'em up stews that you just get these levels for no reason except that they're fun. Uh, ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm not getting that. Oh. Oh, no, my... Oh, I got it. Fuck! Oh. Uh, <laughs> ah, come on, dude. Right. Oh, why did I blow up both of those? God damn. You need some practice. Uh, Please continue. Nine, eight. Hey. God damn, it has been a long Yeah, I suck at this game. I think there's eight stages in total. 
Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Alright. So let's see. Um, alright. Can I get... Should I try to get back? Alright. Oh god, please give me those precious, beautiful power-ups. Uh, shit. I don't know enough about astrophysics to tell you what all these clouds are, like, supposed to be. Um, nor do I know what's going on with these sort of asteroids that were given some sort of metallic infrastructure. Maybe this is, like, a race of asteroid people. Okay, now the tough part. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Mines, right. <laughs> okay. How are we going to do this? Uh, yeah, this guy is going to drill through the level even behind these mines. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's right, you can use the asteroids as cover. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, shit. Shit, shit. Alright, boss fight has not even started yet as... Whatever. You're a dick. Okay, come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, this part. So as you can see, the good news is the hitbox on the asteroids is pretty forgiving. Well, yeah. Okay, so here. Yeah, here you gotta use them as cover. I don't know if you have to, actually, but... You can see it probably... It is a wise idea! Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you, you kind of have to. <laughs> All right. Ah! Ooh. Yeah, this is one of those... Come on, man. All right, maybe... Is there a trick to this? Maybe I can just kill him really quick by getting close. We'll just hang out in here and see how it goes. That is actually working, kind of. I wonder how it'll happen, though, when he starts shooting again. No, all right, he can shoot in there, sure. Come on, we're just getting started. Please continue. Okay. All right, so I do like hanging out inside of him. Uh, that sounded funny. When... He's not doing this, so we're going to try that strategy for a bit, I think. I do remember seeing that. Oh, red asteroid. I think you used something. Or not. At least I got to speed up. All right. Yeah, this is one of those things where you just have to watch. Oh, I was doing so good with that. I hate you, asteroid boss. Uh, at least you went down quick. Let's see here. New York Ripper, will you ever stream Ikaruga? I will. Um, I'm just going to say the PC, the Steam version of Ikaruga. I have the GameCube version somewhere around here. The Steam version of Ikaruga is very crash prone, which sucks. All right. Uh, I completely forget what this stage is. This is stage six, right? Am I wasting things on these, uh, speed em ups? No, I'm not. What am I talking about? What kind of crazy talk is that? Oh dear. Hey. Um. Cool. Laser. Option three. Get another laser. And. Whoa, dear. We'll get another speed up. Why not? made the, the almost fatal mistake of not looking at my ship when I needed to. Maybe another shield? <laughs> ah, help. Uh, multiple four, though. Yeah, you know what? Multiples are persistent. That's actually... Maybe it makes the smartest sense to hoard those. What stage is this? This might be, bo this might be the second boss rush stage. I kind of remember that green background being... A Part of that! Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. We're entering something or another. 
What's in here? Um, this could be just, I guess, just generic bacterion base. Those guys really just launch themselves at you. Okay. So, this part uh, is weird. Um... So, oh yeah, this. Okay. So this is a liquidy kind of stage. Um, you can see that they kind of make like green particles and such into liquid. You can also see that there are tubes that you can't destroy, filling it with more particle liquid. You can also see um, the stage is moving, and as such, if it squeezes some of the liquid, you know, it'll all like kind of come together and like a squeeze bottle and kill you as liquid as well green dangerous liquid is wont to do ah shit I I don't know how I don't know that you actually could beat this with the standard gun honestly like and nothing else I guess we're gonna find out right now aren't we okay shit I'm glad somebody built this little notch into the ceiling. That's very helpful for me. All right, it looks like uh, those are a little more forgiving. Okay, missiles actually probably help out a lot here. All right, I'm gonna need you to build me some more space to fly in very quickly, thank you. Oh, no, 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 got it, okay. That's a mean trick, whoever built this base. Okay, uh, what do I want next? Probably want a laser. Oh yeah, and then the whole stage starts tilting, doesn't it? Forgot that part. Oh, and it's gonna tilt back, isn't it? Yeah. Son of, son of a bitch. Get rid of this. Uh, crap. Yikes, oh gosh, okay, yeah. So. Now I see kind of why people like the freeze power up, shit. I need four more power-ups. Yeah, we'll go completely sideways. Why the hell not? Where am I that this is able to do this? That it's like exhibiting gravity and whatever. I guess it would mean it was spinning using centrifugal force. Maybe something was fucking up here. Like, what is this liquid even being produced? I got it. Okay. They mine this green shit out of the asteroids to feed their biological monster that I killed two stages ago. I don't know how that works into anything else, though. Um, Alright, so this is going to be tricky. Yeah, I knew it. Now watch, yeah, see the left side, how the liquid kind of collects? I think there's, like, shit where I'm going to have to worry about... Okay, who cares? I think there's shit that I'm going to worry about it squeezing into it, if I remember. Like, Okay, that's that's a little unfair, Gradius. Okay, okay, that's through. It's funny because it, the background makes it look like it's got like scan lines, like an old style arcade, which is uh, something that local oh, shit local Molito uh, always puts into his games. Uh, yeah, that worked. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, God, come on. Oh, okay, all right. Um, okay, 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 okay. We made it. We made it. I feel I sound like I'm taking a big dump. Sorry. Sorry for that level of, of, of uh, that crass level of humor. Really? Really? How? Okay, that's how. Okay, so. Woo, dear. Give me one more power up then, please, and we are set. Ah, oh, fuck. This shit's gonna rush at me, right? Sound design in this game is really good, too, by the way. I love, I love like, at, at the enemy, like, lasers and shots all have, like, a neat little kind of tone to them. Sadly, again, I'm a second behind on everything because of the capture card, so I can't use audio cues for things, but whatever. 
And this part would be totally a jerk move, with not if not for the direction. Ah. We'll just keep, keep the thing in shield slot for later if we need it. Yeah, if <laughs> if we need it, right? <laughs> I was just holding back before on stages three and four and five. Woo! Gosh. Okay. Uh, okay. I gotta kill those things too before, um... Wow, that was almost like I planned it that way. Awesome. Yeah, before they close off. Cool. Alright, I just need three more power-ups. Speak of the devil. Now, if I remember, this is going to be um, a boss rush kind of thing. Yep. I don't recognize this music. It sounds kind of like a remix of the... It was like bonus-y kind of music in Gradius 1. Oh, no, like... Yeah, like when you were going through the stage-specific challenge before the core. I feel like I could be wrong there, though. So cool. So he's down, but we got four more to go, I think. Yeah, oh this one. Forgot all about you. So this is a pretty cool one. In a way. As you can see though, he's leaving behind like little turret guys. Which is cool and all, but And I'm trying to use my uh oh. Wow, that was very well timed. Yeah, this part. Okay, so I got rid of both the shields. Just gotta... Alright, there we go. Done. That's boss two. Okay. So that's the ball for. Mm. I should pause the game before I go to take a sip of beverage. This guy, I know I've seen him in another Gradius. You're a, you're a Gradius 3 boss. And music makes him sound like he's a proper boss. Not really yet. I thought it was more of a boss rush. I feel like, well, maybe the, maybe it's just the three. I mean, he looks pretty proper boss-like. With oh, okay, that amount of cores. All right, I guess we, guess we're not doing. I guess we don't need a shield for this. Oh dear, hey, jerk! All right, these are. Oh god, no, that's right. He has two stage lasers, two step lasers, in addition to this. Whoa, jerk. Oh, I thought I died there for a sec. Um, hmm. It looks like he has what? Ah. One core down, two cores down. And we'll be dig through more to get to that last one, right? If I was smart, I could probably use my options. Multiple, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, Drop two-step laser. Why did I do that? I was, I didn't even have to dodge him that way. Just thinking they were home in on me, whatever. Whoa. Ah, all right. I think I'm gonna finish up this boss and call it because I need some more practice before we go on to the final stages, I think. All right. Well, I hope you had fun. I, this is Gradius 5. Oh, we're not done. Uh, I knew it wasn't. This is the boss proper, right? 
Let's get a little crazy. <laughs> you need some practice. Please continue. Alright. I do have to get going though, my brother just texted me, so. Alright. Um So yeah, this reminds me of is it the fourth boss of Ikaruga, kind of? Maybe not. I feel like there's an Ikaruga boss that's kind of like this. There's a trick, I think, where you can actually hang out somehow in between the rings of the outer shell and the ring of the rotating. Four. One down. God damn. Uh... Uh. Okay. Okay, so here's the trick. Ah. I don't know the trick. <laughs> Uh, the trick to this boss. Oh, hey, there's that's a that's a pattern. Um, not a bad one though. What? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, thanks, Steve M. By the way, donated to my Patreon thing. All right. Oh shit. God, I suck so bad today today, yeah. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, wait. Can I hang out here? I can hang out here. That would make it easier if my options weren't digging right in the middle. That's probably why the experts pick freeze, right? Because you can just do stuff like this and then... Oh, yeah, this is... That's easy. Yeah, that's very, very... Well, no, wait, the shots still go through, so you gotta be careful of that. It doesn't matter. That's the stage six boss. Yes, yeah, so now I see Smash in chat telling me the trick is you can sit between the cores and the center. Thank you. Alright, I am gonna have to call it, though. So I hope you enjoyed, uh... watching... Oh, excuse me. Let me play, um... Gradius 5 like a chump but maybe uh maybe we'll try it again sometime and uh i'll do a little bit better so uh later folks let's just see what the next stage is real quick now nah, i gotta go all right Take it easy, everybody.